This is Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques and I am here with the find of the week. And this week I want to give you some tips on identifying um, what's often referred to as Royal Vienna porcelain. And we normally associate that with what we call the beehive mark, which really isn't a beehive mark at all. Um, but this Royal Vienna, or so we often hear, really was never a company at all. Um, it really, the company was the Imperial and Royal Porcelain Manufacturing Company that was in Vienna, Austria from 1748 to 1864 only. But we get in the habit of talking about the beehive mark and comparing it to Royal Vienna. And really, this isn't a beehive at all. Um, this is more, this is meant to be the center of a coat of arms that was actually part of the coat of arms from the Royal, Royal Habsburg family of Austria who financed this company. And so that's what it really is. But Royal Vienna pieces are some of the most reproduced pieces, probably second most popular reproduced pieces aside from the Meissen famous swords. So I want to show you a couple of quick tips today when you're looking at porcelain that will give you some easy, quick ideas that this is not an authentic piece. Um, if the base marks, so when you're looking at a base piece, if they include, and I'm going to pull this piece out, this is a great example of a reproduction. This is a plate that you can see when you turn it over. If your base mark on the back has anything that says Royal Vienna, um, it's it's not going to be from the Vienna Imperial and Royal Porcelain Factory. It's a fake. If it's anything that says Austria, such as this piece, same thing. It's not going to be authentic. Um, if the base marks include Germany or Czechoslovakia, it's not going to be authentic. Um, if there's an importer's mark or an other company's mark, it's not going to be authentic. Here you can see where you've got the Royal Vienna to the side. So that's an indicator that it's not going to be authentic. Anything um, that also has um, a name, Angelica Kaufman, is going to be a, a um, a marker to you that it's not going to be authentic. If you look at the back of the plate, uh, and this is a name here, but if, if you see a description of what's on the front of the plate, that should not be there either. So there are, again, um, a lot of different ways that you can identify that maybe you're not looking at an authentic piece, but that, like I said, that doesn't mean that it wasn't made by a fine artisan or isn't a fine piece. It's just not an authentic piece of porcelain um, from the Imperial and Royal Porcelain Factory. So I hope this kind of gives you some good tips when you go forward looking at these pieces. Um, they are beautiful, very uh, vibrant in their color um, and the tapestry-like um, paintings on the front. But be sure and like us on Facebook and check us out on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com.